Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here to look into cell phone radiation. There's a recent study done on cell phones that says that if you live within a mile of a cell phone tower, that you're probably going to get sick. And the closer you get to the cell phone tower, the sicker you're going to get. So I started wondering about uh, cell phone screening and cell phone signal screening and how effective it can be. So we've got some different materials here and we're going to see how it affects the cell phone signal. So the first thing we're going to start off with is this pot. It's a pot of stainless steel. It has quite a thick base on it and we're going to put our cell phone in there. Now this cell phone right now actually has a signal of full strength which is five bars. So let's see what happens when we put it in the pan. Now it normally takes a few seconds for the signal meter to react. And uh, once it does react, it generally drops down to about three bars, two to three bars. Let's see what it's doing right now. So right now we seem to have uh, three bars. And we can actually get that to drop down to one bar by putting a lid on top of this pan. So it seems to protect the certain amount of the cell phone signals coming out of this phone, but it doesn't seem to be uh, the best protector. So the next thing we're going to look at is this chicken wire. And we're going to put the phone into the chicken wire and see what happens. Now I've done this earlier and uh, chicken wire doesn't really seem to do much to be honest with you. Uh, the signal seems to be five bars whether it is in or out of the chicken wire and uh, yeah there, I think there's too many holes in the chicken wire to let the signal through so the next thing is foil so we're going to pop the phone into the foil and we're going to see what happens to the signal strength now, much to my surprise, when I was doing this earlier, is the signal strength drops right down. It actually goes down to one bar. Uh, it's actually dropped right down right now. So, the interesting thing is, is that this foil is not actually grounded in any way. It's, it's just foil wrapped around the phone. And the same with these other grounding techniques. They they don't need to be grounded. They uh, they perform the same whether they're grounded or whether they're just left in the open air. So this cell phone, uh, the actual best form of shielding does appear to be the foil, which was I found to be quite surprising. I was expecting the chicken wire to have some effect, and uh, that, that surprised me that it didn't. And uh, the pan is pretty good, but it's just. Uh, too big and bulky, the, the foil is definitely the best thing. So there you have it. If you want to shield cell phone signals, the simplest thing to do is to use aluminum foil. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.